Hi, my name is Randy. Welcome to the screencast in which I'll be showing you how to use Voxipop, which is a web-based speaking application. As you can see from the little blurb here on the home page, Voxipop is a fun way to uh, get your students speaking um, and recording their voice on the internet. It's kind of a cross between a message board and podcasting. Before signing up, which you do over here on the top right side, I suggest that you go to the Explore Talk Groups and Discussion page, and that will give you a good example uh, examples of how educators around the world are using the website. So let's go to one of the classes that I've set up. Okay, this is what's called a uh, classroom talk group, and up here on the, the top you can see the name of the class, uh, a little message that I've posted for them. Uh, the 10 members, you can see the date that I started it, and down here you'll see various assignments that I've given the students. So let's go to one of the assignments and take a look. For example, we'll go to this one here. Okay, so this, for example, was uh, the students were assigned the task of talking about a video for three to five minutes. and. The first thing the student would do would be to come in and click on this embedded link here, which opens up the page. This video is about falconry, uh, of course, it's popular with guys in the UAE. So their assignment was to, at, at home, at night, homework, to watch the video and respond for three to five minutes. Okay, let me pause that and go back. All right, here we go. Um, and as you can see here, the, stu the students have responded to it. Okay, if I scroll through here, and then I'll just play one of them here for you. Okay. Yeah, I hope you can hear that. I don't know how well that's coming through. Okay, here's another one. Okay, so I think you probably can uh, get the idea here. Let me, let me stop this and go back to the main page. So, like podcasting, uh, this is nice because you can assign the students a range of activities. So, for example, um, down here, I gave them more controlled tasks uh, in that they wrote their paragraphs during class in the day, and then they were just decided to read them at night. Um, whereas the, the responding to the video tasks were more, were more open-ended, um, the students didn't prepare it ahead of time. Um, and it's really up to the students. So, uh, I, but I think if you listen to them, you'll see that the, uh, for example, the talking about the video, you'll see that they have a more um, spontaneous quality to them. So this is nice, you can, you can have a range of control to spontaneous uh, assignments. And, and I think the other uh, major difference between this and um, podcasting is that whereas with podcasting the students are able to upload photos and text along with their mp3 recording whereas on, on this website you can't do that and I think what this the difference is with this where it makes up is they have this kind of fun gadget here in the middle where you can scroll back and forth so you know I think it's a bit of a gimmick but it's nice it gives it a different look and you know it, it, it sort of gives it a different feel than podcasting so it's, you could you could perhaps do them side by side actually I think they would complement each other okay to use uh, Voxpop is quite easy. You just go to this link bar at the top here. It says record a new discussion. And the first thing you'll do up here is you'll give a description of the assignment. Let's say that I want to uh, have the students again talk about a video. Okay, so I know the text there. An important tip here when you're creating your discussion title, make sure that it's what you want because 
uh, one limitation with the website, the free version anyway, is that you cannot go back and change this. In other words, once you save the message and it appears on the main page, you cannot go back and edit it. So you may notice over here on the uh, main page, this is kind of what happened to me. Uh, the first three assignments, I didn't number them. Um, beginning the fourth one, I decided I should, hey, I should probably start numbering these. And I went back and I tried to edit, and there was no way to edit. So the only thing you can do is delete them. Uh, so, again, when you're uh, creating your uh, assignment, make sure that it's what you want. So, let me do this again. Okay. Then over here, uh, for keywords, you can put whatever you like. Uh, you can put your name, perhaps, as your, your instructor name, or I've just been copying and pasting the uh, name of the class here. In the message section, uh, you can type any message you want. In this case, since I'm using a video, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the link here. Okay. Now, as far as the, the recording goes, at this point you're supposed to record the, the message. If you try to save the message at this point, you'll get this error. It says you haven't recorded anything yet. So, just go ahead and you know read the discussion. Uh, so, for example, this is quite simple. I'll just say, number nine, talk about this video. Okay, stop it, and that should be it. Then we save the message. You'll see it loading here. Usually works pretty quickly. At this point, you'll be presented with this screen. This screen. You can uh, explore the website, or you can go back to your page. I'm going to go back to my page. Okay, and there it is. Number nine, that uh, video we just created. You'll see, of course, that there, there's no students have participated yet. So the only um, uh, message is mine. And it's actually got the seconds there. So as the other students begin submitting their uh, their own recordings, you'll see them appear here latest by. One more uh, tip for you before I sign off here. When you first get started with VoxPop. It's important, now let me just kind of show you. Uh, I'm going to the home page here, and let me, I'm just going to sort of randomly choose another class. Okay, so this is a, an instructor's class somewhere in the world. Let's say that I'm a student, and I, my assignment is at home, I need to contribute to this, this question. So what happens is if I record, if I try to click on record a message, okay, it says I need to be a member. So go to this link here to join the page okay and now again I have to click on this bar up here that says join this talk group okay and as you can see here this has got restricted access so um, you would have to send the request and then the instructor would need to approve it so uh, the default setting for this is actually open so you don't need to uh, to make it restricted, you actually have to do that when you're first setting up your page. So unless there's privacy issues, I would suggest just keeping it open. Um, in any event, it's something that you might want to point out to students before they go home for their first assignment that they need to, even if it's open and they're signed in, which I am, they need to click on join this talk group before they can get started. Okay, well, I think that's it. Um, in summary, I think Voxapop it's fun. It's a, it's a fun, it's nice and easy to use. Uh, all my students report liking it. Uh, so I would suggest you give it a try alongside podcasting. Uh, that's it. So uh, good luck and have fun.